From self-driving cars to the world's fastest pickup, here are 10 cars you can't drive. Number 10, 2003 TVR Tuscan. British-based TVR has produced a number of awesome sports cars, known for their swift handling and crazy speed. But most models that were made between 1996 and 2006 were banned in the USA for failing to meet safety regulations. The cooler the sports car, I guess the harder it is to meet safety regulations. The 2003 TVR Tuscan was featured in the John Travolta movie Swordfish, which led to high demand for the vehicle, but a design choice made by the manufacturer caused a problem with regulators. Peter Wheeler, the owner of the company at the time, felt that features such as airbags and auto braking systems actually gave drivers a false sense of security and could actually lead to more accidents rather than preventing them. He therefore didn't include them in any of the models during this 10-year period. And as such, they weren't allowed on American roads. Do you think having airbags gives you a false sense of security? Number 9. Self-Driving Cars It seems like every tech company and vehicle manufacturer is trying to perfect the self-driving car right now, and there are tests happening across the world to prove the technology works. Despite these cars being on the road already, though, they are still heavily regulated and in most cases require there to be a person sitting in the driver's seat with a steering wheel so they can take control in an emergency. This is probably for the best, too, because there's still a fair way to go in the development of automated technologies. The systems on the car have to detect and deal with countless different issues that may arise, and there have already been a number of accidents with them. There's also the problem of convincing authorities to allow them on the roads, as current laws require there to be a competent driver in control of a car. And you definitely can't have a model with no steering wheel, which is how most companies envisage their future models being designed. Companies keep working on it though, and it looks like they are definitely the way of the future. One country has taken this a step further and banned the use of self-driving cars altogether. The road minister of India has said that they won't be welcome there because they'll take away jobs. He said that in a country with high unemployment, you simply can't allow technology that will put more people out of work. They have a high demand for commercial drivers and even have schools to teach people how to be better within the profession. It seems that if you too have concerns about automations on the street, then you might need to consider a move to India. Number 8. 1973 Electromagnetic Soapbox Car The Soapbox Derby is an event that's been held every year in America since 1934. But there's a famous model of car that was not only banned in 1973, but also led to the town of Boulder, Colorado being banned from ever taking part in the event again. Suspicions were raised during the finals of that year because of the inconsistencies with Jimmy Gronin's times completing the course. As the day went on, his margins of victory were getting smaller, and having won his first heat by quite a margin, he only won the final race by a short distance. Usually, the winner of these races is at most three feet ahead of the nearest competitor, but in some instances, Jimmy would win by a full 30 feet. It soon transpired what was happening as this particular car had an electromagnet built into the nose. It would be activated when the driver rested his helmet against the headrest and, as the starting gate fell forward, would pull the car along to give a head start. This cheating was only discovered after the final, but even during the races, officials had replaced his wheels because they had also been covered in a chemical that reduced friction. Sneaky. Needless to say, Jimmy was disqualified for cheating, and his uncle, whose son had won the championship the previous year, was fined for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The use of chemicals on the wheels was explicitly prohibited, and so was the car. The league was also forced to install aluminum on the start gates from the following year to prevent a similar method from being tried ever again. Probably the most drama the Soapbox Derby has ever seen. Number 7. Morgan Le Mans 62 Prototype in 2002, Morgan produced a 40th anniversary edition of the 1962 Le Mans. They only made 80 of these cars, and they were as accurate as possible to the classic original design. Each one of them was engraved with a number on the steering wheel and a plaque on the center console. One special prototype version was numbered as 00. Within 72 hours of the announcement of this special edition, all 80 had been allocated to owners, none of whom resided in the United States. It turns out it wasn't road legal there because, true to the original, there was only one door handle which was on the driver's side, and this constituted as a safety hazard. Number 6. TVR Sagaris This is another of the long list of TVR cars that have been banned in the US. 
it too purposefully avoided the safety regulations of including airbags or ABS because the company owner felt these features caused drivers to be overconfident and could potentially put you at risk if the car were to roll over. TVRs were well known for having poor build quality, with issues such as carpets coming unstuck and having handling problems, so the engineers set out to make the Sagaris something completely different, and they sure did. Many reviewers called this the best TVR ever made, despite it being one of the last models the company would ever develop, and you might even be familiar with it from the Forza Horizon video game franchise. With a power output of up to 406 brake horsepower, they're really fun to drive and have won a number of race events, sadly not in the US. And it's unlikely you'll ever see one driving on Route 66. Number 5. Lotus Elise S1 The Lotus Elise was named after the granddaughter of the company's chairman at the time and took a rather purist attitude with its design. The earlier models didn't have any roof or windows to help reduce the overall weight, and this gave it the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 5.8 seconds. This was particularly impressive given the engine's output of only 118 brake horsepower, but with a weight of only 1,600 pounds, the car was easily able to reach a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Focusing more on speed and maneuverability than safety, all models of the Elise between 1996 and 2001 were put on the US NHTSA blacklist for import. There was also a limited edition version known as the 340R because of the number that were produced, which was also banned. These were even faster than the standard model with a 177 brake horsepower engine and weighing 1,550 pounds. Number 4. 1993 Lamborghini Strosec Diablo The designer of this car, Vittorio Strosec, thought the original Diablo to be too subtle, so he made this version that included redesigned front and rear bumpers, moved the position of the exterior rearview mirrors, replaced pop-up headlights with permanent ones, and made a variety of other changes. Very few of these special editions were ever made, and they cost an absolute fortune to those lucky enough to be offered one in the first place. You may have to settle for a regular Diablo for $100,000 to $150,000. The problem, though, was that all of the alterations that were made resulted in the car being very unsuitable for the roads of America. Look at the mirrors, for example, and the completely ineffective narrow headlights. The car could also reach crazy speeds very easily, so it was never allowed to be imported. This decision can't have affected too many people, though, because the sheer cost and rarity of these vehicles mean that they're even extremely difficult to get a hold of anywhere, even in Europe where they were manufactured. Number 3. HSV Malou R8 Holden Special Vehicles is the performance vehicle partner of Holden, an Australian vehicle manufacturer. They have modified a number of models, including those made by companies other than Holden. One in particular that broke world records was the Malou R8. It's a performance utility vehicle that had been in production since 1990. The engine of the original vehicle was replaced with a V8, full body kits were added, and a bunch of other tweaks were made. Malou means thunder in Aboriginal Australian, and boy was this truck fast. In 2001, the R8 broke the world record for the fastest pickup truck, clocking in at 168 miles per hour, and in the process, taking the record away from the Dodge Ram SRT10. Unfortunately, this creation never made it over to the States. It was deemed to be too dangerous, and due to the small numbers that were built, no one ever tried to prove otherwise. If you want to see one of these in action, you'll need to track down one of the 250 in Australia or 10 in New Zealand. Number 2. 2010 Alfa Romeo 8C Spider. With so many homegrown car manufacturers and the love in the US for American muscle cars, it's maybe not a surprise that other vehicle producers around the world don't concentrate on the US market when they make special edition cars. Alfa Romeo's 8C Spider is one of these models, and it's a shame. It was released in 2010 and only 500 were made. It's a softer car than its contemporaries and has a soft top roof that has to be manually detached from the windscreen. The 450 brake horsepower engine allows it to reach 62 miles per hour within four and a half seconds, and it was universally praised as being one of the finest vehicles ever made by Alfa Romeo. It looks beautiful too and shows the design aesthetics you'd expect from the Italian company. The V8 engine roars into action as it speeds down the road, and the handling allows the driver to keep complete control. When it was released, it cost over a quarter of a million dollars and sold out immediately. This, combined with regulations in America about safety features and engine power, meant that a license was never agreed for the 8C Spider. Number 1. 1999 Nissan Skyline R34 GTR Nissan Skylines are known around the world for their design, power, and amazing handling. 
They're some of the best cars available in driving games like Need for Speed, too, so it's no wonder that car enthusiasts across America want to get their hands on one. The only problem is they can't. Why? You've probably guessed it by now, because this model of car does not pass the required safety regulations. It's known as one of the best drift cars you can get, and won the Japanese Touring Car Championship 29 times in a row. But it's this insane power that is the main reason it's banned. It's a four-wheel drive with an engine power of between 280 and 500 brake horsepower, and that's before you modify it. In some cases, the engines have been known to achieve an output of over 1,000 horsepower, and it can easily reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. The simple fact is, this allows them to outpace even the most proficiently driven police car, which is something the authorities understandably want to prevent from happening. There's also a further safety implication here, because if a car were to travel at such speeds on a public highway, it would definitely threaten the safety of other drivers who would have no way to avoid a collision. There are, of course, ways for someone to get one of these vehicles into the country, but it probably is not legal. Thanks for watching! Have you ever driven any of these? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!